Well, congratulations on the win. How good does it feel to get that win in there? Um, it's amazing to get my first UFC win. It's something I've dreamed about my entire career, um, even as a little kid before I started fighting. Um, it's something that, you know, I always wanted to do and uh, be a part of, so I'm really excited to do it here in Auckland. Now, you, you said when you got here today, you didn't realize that you were going to be the first fight. I mean, did that help amp up? Did that make you more excited? Was it a, a little bit more nervous when you found out? What was your thought? Um, I came down for check-in, and they're like, hey, you know, you're the first fight of the night, um, but the start time didn't change, so it was really exciting. I got to be the first fight, kick off the show with the bang. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed it. Now, did uh, your opponent came in overweight this week? Did that bug you? Was that something that did, was it, did you feel slight about? Was it disrespected? I know it was a last-minute replacement for you. It was a short-notice fight for her. Um, what were your thoughts when she came in so far overweight? Um, you know, I've taken the, my last fight was a last minute fight. Uh, I took it on seven days and um, I still made the weight. Um, she came in fight week at, I think it was like one, you know, I, she came in at fight week lower than I did and uh, couldn't make the weight. So, you know, I think it's just maybe being from a different country, not really knowing how to do it yet. Um, I know it's her first time trying to make 115. So, you know, I'm just appreciative that she still stepped up and took the fight and uh, I got it done. So I can't complain. Well, let's talk a little bit about it. It's a short notice fight. You know, you maybe didn't have a, a lot of time to, to game plan for her, but what was the game plan coming in for her tonight? Uh, yeah, it was a last minute switch up. Uh, the girl I was supposed to fight originally had an injury. Um, she was actually a southpaw, so this girl was an orthodox fighter. Um, so we just got to go back to what I was used to um, and just be ready for anything. I got to see a couple of her fights. Um, I knew she'd be tough, come forward. I know she's used to coming forward from watching her last fights. So nobody's really pushed the pressure on her. So, um, yeah, I knew she'd be tough, but I'm just excited that, you know, they found somebody and I got the win. I don't care who or how. It seemed like you were definitely really trying to push the pace and control the center of the octagon. Was that something that you were really trying to make sure that you were controlling the dynamic of the fight? Yeah, for sure. Um, I haven't really always been uh, pleased with my performances. Uh, I think in the first round I could have pushed it a little bit faster. Um, not necessarily anything I did wrong, just um, more volume, punching, kicking more. Um, I think I had her stunned a couple times. I probably should have came forward a little bit more. But, you know, she's a dangerous fighter. I didn't want to step into anything, eat something. I wanted to have a smart fight, um, which I feel like I did pretty well. Uh, the third round, I was able to let loose a little bit and uh, have fun in there. So I'm excited. And she's a, she was a young fighter, but she definitely seemed game to kind of throw and bang. Um, did anything surprise you that she was bringing out? Were you surprised at how willing she was to kind of stand in there or throw? Or maybe it was the yelling and screaming that she's doing before the fight. Um, did she surprise you with anything? No, I don't think she, you know, I think she's kind of out of her element a little bit. She's used to being like the hometown hero. So I think her confidence was pretty high coming in just because of that. You know, she's never been put in a tough situation. She's always had, you know, good fights, always had high confidence. No reason for her to come in here without it. Um, but, you know, um, I was just happy. Um, you know, being able to get in there and mix it up with somebody tough, you know, um, and, and I'm normally the person who's uh, the younger fighter out of the two. This is my first time actually fighting somebody younger than me, but uh, being in her position, I know what it's like fighting somebody older, and um, I never took it to heart or anything, so I hope she didn't either. How do you celebrate the win? Um, I'm going to eat a lot of goodies. They have so many bakeries here. I'm going to go to the green room right now and get some ice cream. Very good. What, what's next? Back to the gym? How, how, how soon do you want to get back in there and fight? And I know we always ask it, most fighters don't want to throw names out, but how soon do you want to get back in there? Is there, is there anybody next that, you, that you're hoping for? And um, I had a great time out here in, in um, New Zealand, and I heard there's a card out in Sydney. I'd love to get on that card in November. Um, the girl that I was originally supposed to fight, Nadia, she got hurt, but um, that's her hometown in Australia, so I'd love to go and fight her in Sydney in November. So you embrace the travel thing. I know a lot of fighters, it's, it's tough to, to go so far away. You know, it, it messes with the sleep pattern and the foods that you can eat. But it's something that you enjoyed. Has it been a good week for you overall? Yeah, it's been a really good week. I mean, the plane ride sucks, of course. But anytime you get paid to go to a different country and, and, and just live and enjoy it, what you do, you know, um, I take any opportunity that I can. So if the Aussies will have me out there, I'll be happy to go out there.